Hey YouTube, it's Chris, Weather Bryce. Um I hope everyone's fantastically well. I have not done a video for weeks and weeks now, so I thought I'd better do one. Um, but, uh, I've just had loads of stuff going on. Uh, nothing too sinister, just stuff that needed addressing. Flat sails and God knows what else. But, um, yeah, that and work, my other job have sort of taken me away from, uh, from all the stuff I enjoy doing for a little while. But I'm back at it now. Um, just sitting in my workshop, I've had a nice afternoon doing, working on three pipes. I can't show you one of them. Um, I'm just waiting to hear about that one, so um, it, it may be for something. Watch this space. Hopefully that will come good. Um, and um, yeah, uh, working on a billiard and a little Dublin. I'm trying to decide stem colours at the minute. This is very early stages. On the billiard. But it will be available. Um, I'm so busy with everything, I, I haven't taken any commissions lately, so this is just me getting my hand back in. Uh, so there will be a little um, nice billiard with um, bird's eye on the side. Yeah, looking forward to getting uh, into that again tomorrow. And um, another little sort of Dublin, little short Dublin. And just thinking about this um, this stem material, I've been very fortunate, um, and uh, I must stress that this uh, these stem materials that I've been sent from Chris uh, Eldridge Pipes, Chris Kelly, are prototype colours for him, and he's um, he's sent them out to a, a few of us uh, from the UK uh, to to give them feedback on and. And stuff so that he can he can improve them so I'm having my first little play with it this is the teal I can't I, to be honest I can't remember the names of these but it's a teal with an opaque kind of white swirl going through it so uh, I've used this teal abyss before which is excellent really really good color um, really nice uh, uh, understated but cool and so this is the same you can s maybe see let's try and do something yeah there's quite a lot of the original teal in there there's a strange kind of halo effect from the mixing that he's, as he's mixed the two resins so we'll see I'm gonna have a play with this and see see what it's like and, and give him some feedback but uh, you know um, I'm also allowed to use it so uh, these are quite unique pieces. Uh, yeah, exciting times. So I shall uh, report back to Chris on my findings. Uh, but uh, really uh, generous of him to let us all try out when he's trying new stuff. Cheers, by the way, I'm uh, having a beer. Uh, beer du Corbu. It's a strong one, but it's a good one. That we can get in the local supermarkets here in France. And it's a tasty blonde beer. Okay, so um, also received a nice package in the post. Uh, uh, end of last week, middle to end of last week, from a friend of mine in the states. I won't name him. And um, I've been um, wanting to find a nice sweet Virginia um, that's not too grassy uh, which seems apart from maybe medium flake but there's still the grassiness there but you know the sweetness you get with medium flake Jermaine's medium flake it's hard to find anything that sort of ticks that box for me yeah, over here so 
my friend recommended me Peretti's um, Amber Sand Flake, and yeah, yeah, it's uh, quite possibly my new favourite tobacco. I've been smoking nothing else. He sent me also some of the 150th anniversary flake, which is also really nice. Um, but it's a bit more more of an I would describe it as an old man smoke, which I like. Uh, it's kind of got a bit of a funk to it. I believe there's some te over 10 year aged tobacco in it and something. So I guess that's why it's uh, it's kind of funky. But that's a real sort of dark, thick cut flake. A totally different experience to this one. But this is bold, complex, sweet. A little bit fruity, nutty. It smells great too. I mean, there's not many tobaccos these days for me <laughs> that I can smell while I'm smoking them. Uh, I can smell the tobacco when other people are smoking them, but I can't smell them myself when I'm smoking them. So, uh, so yeah, so this one is uh, is one that does, which is a treat as well. So I'm um, super super happy with um, with the things she sent me. He also sent me a. Cornell Cornell and Deal because I've never really tried any of their stuff, and that was uh, I think it's Bayou Flake or Bayou Morning Flake. Can't remember off the top of my head. Um, so I'm looking forward to cracking that open at some point as well. But uh, for the minute, I'm just enjoying these Peretti blends. They're just absolutely fantastic. So that's about it. Um, yeah, a bit of a lot of different things video I suppose but uh, and not much substance <laughs> but um, I'll endeavor to make more videos as I'm now sort of back in the workshop a little bit more than I have been um, and show you some pipes and things over the next few weeks okay right then all the best enjoy yourselves and stay healthy and I'll um, report back soon.